Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I got a bunch of Chicago Bulls news and updates. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about DeMar DeRozan being seen working out with Dale and Terry just the other day, also giving a little injury update on Lonzo Ball, and later in today's video, talking about how the Lakers plan to target Zach Levine in this upcoming offseason. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below. Today's video it takes a second and it helps me out a lot, and leave some kind comments and questions below today's video about all the topics and updates i'm about to jump into but nonetheless let's just jump right into it because just the other day dale and terry was seen working out with demar DeRozan, and i'm just going to throw up some pictures and videos and let me just first off say this is obviously super cool to see with the bulls just being eliminated from the play-in game or playoffs a few weeks back the offseason really hasn't even gotten started and it's really cool to see that dale and terry is already working out with demar DeRozan. Now, obviously, DeMar DeRozan did this all last offseason with Patrick Williams, and even though his numbers don't jump off the page, I think it's pretty night and day how much he improved over this past season, especially with just how much more comfortable he did look on the floor. And Dale and Terry did talk about at during his end of season presser that he was not happy this whole year not playing, being out of the rotation, and he pretty much told Bulls insider Joe Cowley that this offseason he's going to work so hard on his shooting, his hand handling to make sure that he plays next year and has a spot and role on this team and, and let me just first off say I love to hear that from Dalen Terry there's definitely a lot to his game I see the potential he's obviously a very lengthy guard and I feel like he could run the point guard position a little bit for the Bulls I've seen there's been some recent talk about him potentially turning into a point guard or running the offense if he can just tighten up his handles I'll also throw up this quick little video of Dalen Terry working on his handles because like I also did say I really liked what I saw from him in the limited minutes he did get this past season he definitely needs to clean up his three-point shot and speed that up and just tighten up his handles I don't know if I could ever see him running the point guard position and running an offense but if he could ever just work on his three-point shot I feel like he could be a really good three and D wing for this Bulls team for a very long time I like the potential of Dalen Terry I think it's super cool that him and DeMar are already working out DeMar DeRozan even if the Bulls trade him in this offseason he's been a great star and veteran for this Bulls team for the past two years and he's been a great vet for all the young Bulls like Dalen Terry, Kobe White, and Patrick Williams. And the next topic in today's video, I'm going to be talking about and giving a little update on the whole Lonzo Ball injury and surgery situation. Now, try to stay with me. This might get a little confusing, and I'm sorry I'm not a big hockey fan, but just a few weeks back, this NHL player, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name, so I'm not even going to try. He is having the same surgery on his right knee as Lonzo Ball, and this same surgery will be done by Dr. Brian Cole at the Rush University Medical Center in Chicago. And with that being said, he is expected to miss all of next year. And like I just did say, this is the same surgery and the same doctor that also performed on Lonzo Ball's recent surgery. And after that update came out, a retired NHL player did say he had the same surgery performed on his left knee. It's a brutal rehab process and mine never recovered to a point that made skating at the NHL level possible. However, I do wish him well and hopefully he gets back to playing. And after that, he did continue and he did say I should add that Dr. Brian Cole the Chicago Bulls team doctor also performed the surgery on him as well so with that being said who knows how Lonzo Ball is going to handle that surgery but the first NHL player that is expected to miss all of next year did say I have spoken to Lonzo Ball and he has had a similar last 14 months that I have had it's hard to go through all of this without going through this surgery now obviously that's not a great outlook that doesn't help I just don't get why anyone would come to Chicago for a knee surgery anytime there's a knee surgery in Chicago it never goes well or it just has bad I'd say vibes surrounding it now other than that Lonzo did have his surgery on March 20th Billy Donovan said that doctors told him it went well obviously that has been said for the past two knee surgeries and Lonzo Ball is trying to become the first NBA player to return for having this surgery so I just wanted to give a little update and outlook on that whole situation it's definitely not a great update but it's definitely something to talk about and definitely keep your eye on in the future. 
And the final topic in today's video that I wanted to talk about is that the Lakers are once again being linked to Zach Levine. Now, this isn't surprising. The Lakers have been linked and interested in Zach Levine for years now. And this article just came out the other day from Bleacher Report, and it was titled Every NBA Team's Dream Offseason Trade Target. And Zach Buckley of Bleacher Report did list Bulls star Zach Levine as the player the Lakers should target this summer. Now, like I just did say, Zach Levine has been linked and the Lakers have been linked to Zach Levine for years now. I highly doubt the Bulls do trade Zach Levine. I do expect more rumors to come up with Zach Levine. Depending on what the Bulls front office does in this upcoming offseason, maybe they try to shop one of the big three, they sign and trade Vooch or let him walk, or who truly knows what's going to happen. But I do expect some drama and rumors to come up with Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan and even maybe Vooch. But given that the Bulls are kind of stuck in basketball hell right now, I just don't see trading Zach Levine the best option unless they go into a full rebuild. But the Bulls front office has said many times that they don't want to rebuild. They're probably just going to retool in this, in this offseason or maybe even run it back and just add some three-point shooters. Zach Levine is only 28 years old. And the way that he finished last season, I want him to stay in a Bulls uniform. I just want the Bulls front office to add better pieces surrounding Zach Levine and see how good he could be how good this Bulls team could be with the right pieces around him. I think we all know when healthy, Zach Levine is one of the best scorers in the NBA. I mean, he's a two-time All-Star. He averaged 25 points per game for the Bulls this past season, shooting 49% from the field and 38% from three-point range. Now, back in December of 2022, an Eastern Conference GM did tell heavy sports insider Sean Devy that Zach Levine wants to go to the Lakers. Levine went to college at UCLA, and the two two-time slam dunk champion told TMZ Sports in May 22 that he's always been a big fan of the Lakers and I've talked about this in past videos I'm sure he would love to play for the Lakers but it's just very unlikely I just don't see the Bulls trading Zach Levine I feel like if the Bulls move on from any of the big three it has to be Vooch or DeMar DeRozan I mean I made a video just the other day about how an NBA insider does expect the Chicago Bulls to sign and trade Vooch to the Dallas Mavericks in this offseason I know a lot of Bulls fans really want the Bulls to try and sign and trade Vooch or just let him walk for nothing and move on from him. I also seen a good chunk of Bulls fans on Twitter and a lot of chatter about Bulls fans just kind of wanting the Bulls to also move on from DeMar DeRozan. In my opinion, I love DeMar DeRozan. He's absolutely outplayed his contract for the Bulls for these past two seasons. He's been a great vet, but in the long run, I feel like trading DeMar DeRozan now would probably be the best option. The Chicago Bulls are kind of going to be in the same situation next off season with DeMar DeRozan that they're currently in right now with Vooch and that's just a messy situation that this Bulls front office just can't keep waiting to play. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about all the topics and updates I talked about. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. Have a good one.